Hey guys, what's up? She Pirate here, and today I want to close out this quarter box hunt with y'all and just share some 2009s and some random finds that I pulled. I think they would be neat to check them out under the scope. So let's get to it. All right, I want to start with the District of Columbia and U.S. Territory quarters, low mintage year 2009. First on the chopping block is District of Columbia, and this is the Denver Mint, there are 88.8 .8 million minted. And as you guys know, we'll go through these pretty quick. We're really looking for some doubling here in this area. You'll see the Ellington, it kind of will, looks like it's melted into the keys. If I come across one, I'll be able to show you an example, but it's a pretty rare error. And I don't expect to have it here, but hey, I wasn't expecting to find any West Points either. And look at me, found two. <laughs> All right, so there was no doubling there for the Denver. And I did find one Philadelphia, 2009, District of Columbia. And of the Philadelphia, there were 83.6 million minted of this design. All right, next up will be the Virgin Islands. I found two Denvers, and we're just going to take a little glance at these just because I know we've seen them before, but you never know. Maybe uh, some doubling, or maybe we'll find something neat on these coins. All right, next we have Puerto Rico. And this has a mintage of 86 million. And this is one of the most beautiful designs as well. I just love all of the 2009 uh, designs for all of the US coins, especially the, um, the one cent design because of the, the uh, tribute to Lincoln's life. And if you haven't seen that video, I will Tag it down below in the description. All right, next we have the U.S. Virgin Islands. This is the Denver Mint. And there were 41 minted of both Denver and Philadelphia. But in this box, I only managed to come across some Denvers. There's actually a few of them. There's three of them that I found. Very nice. I wish we had a little bit more detail on that little bird. Let's see. Third one up. All right. Let's move on. All right. Here we have the American Samoa 2009 Denver Mint. And I only found one, and it is pretty tea chopped up it's definitely seen better days but uh you guys know i pull them anyway i don't care the condition as long as i can see the date i will pull them and this is a 2009 we have let's see how many of these do we have of the denver there are 39.6 million minted Awesome. All right, so I know that I focus on the 2009, but 2010 and 2011 are also super low mintage years. I, I don't know why I never really paid attention to them or pulled them, maybe because I don't come across them very often because I've actually only found one 2011 in this whole box. And the one that I found was the Glacier and it's a Denver Mint. And there are 31.2 minted of this design. Let me turn it over. It's in pretty rough condition. I thought I would pull it and show you guys. And there's Denver. So pretty standard obverse. We've got a goat. Very nice. All right, I did come across two 2010 
designs and this is the hot springs design and again it's another low mintage gear which I'm, I'm surprised I guess I never really paid attention to the 2010 and 11 that's why I don't really have any in my collection but I'm gonna start paying attention and pulling them I don't know I'm, I'm gonna look a little bit more into them why the 2009s are more popular and uh, not the 2010s and 11s but here we have the hot springs design 2010 and it is a Denver so let's see how many there are minted 34 million mm, China move the lighting around on that mint mark right but I think it might be a mechanical error because it's not doubling on the actual letter but let me know what you guys think down below I think I see a little bit of doubling but sometimes this lighting can be very deceiving <laughs> let me show you the second one that i came across it is the yellowstone 2010 design got buffalo there in the front on the reverse and let's turn it around for the mint mark and it is a denver all right, so of the 2010 Denver Yellowstone, there were 34.8 minted. 34.8 million. All right, the next two that I'm going to show you are just some random dates. Here I have a 1996. And honestly, the only reason I pulled it is because it has actually to the naked eye it has very very minimal circulation uh, damage on it and I normally find these in horrendous condition so I thought I would just pull it aside and put it in my collection for now and I don't know maybe uh, let it go to someone that's started a book or something and is looking to upgrade I don't know if this is something that anybody would be interested in but if you are let me know in the comments down below you can still see those talons look at that beautiful beautiful detail on the arrows you can still see the ties right there down the middle and feathers on the breast here of the eagle you can almost even make out that eye too I also pulled this 1981 for the same reason. It's not as great a condition as the one that I just showed you, but again, minimal circulation marks on this one as well. Beautiful. Look at that. The hair isn't as isn't not as prominent as a 1996 that I just showed you. And you can see the beautiful mint mark right there, crystal clear very nice and here is the reverse looks like this one has a little bullet hole right there I don't know what that is can't see the talons as great as the other one but again minimal circulation I thought this one was a really nice one as well so I thought I pulled this piece aside and last but not least guys you guys know I'm big toner girl and this one is very toned look at this i love it i love it when it has that patina in the background and it just highlights some of this design i wish there wasn't so much damage on this one it's so pretty all right the silver state to 2006 Nevada 1864 design and here's the offers to Denver it's just a beautiful piece I think I know that Mia also is a uh, collector of these toners look at that makes that hair look very prominent all right guys that's all i have for you this time so this box was uh it was exciting it had several 2009s 
these special pieces here that I pulled and of course my two West Points. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I will see you guys on the next one. Bye.